frontline reporting, civil society building, international justice, human rights, women's rights, truth, good governance, freedom of information, peace, democracy, democracy, IWPR, IWPR, IWPR makes a difference. The greatest guarantor of freedom is truth. And one of the great guarantors of truth is good, strong, honest journalism. We believe that local journalists provide unique access to information and they're crucial building blocks for healthy societies and democracy within their own areas. IWPR was founded in the early 1990s during the conflicts in the Balkans. The goal, to contribute to peace and human rights by strengthening balanced and responsible voices within the local media. IWPR continues its work in the post-communist countries, such as covering Russia's conflict with Georgia. Today, IWPR continues to give voice and drive change, working in more than two dozen countries and territories around the world. We tend to operate in the most difficult places in the entire world, where the obstacles to doing this right and getting the right content are the biggest. The period of the international reporter with the khakis and the boots and the flak jacket blasting into the country, coming up with the article and leaving is less and less prevalent. We train Iraqi journalists on this basic skills of reporting. We started from, the, from absolute scratch. We provide them assistance for expenses and the cost of doing their articles. But most importantly, we provide these local journalists with a kind of hard, robust mentoring, uh, editorial oversight. It gives them a real sense of support. Local journalists have unique understanding of their own communities. They also have a unique stake in society. They want the truth and they want change and they endure extreme risks on the way. Often in conflict areas where international journalists are not welcome or not present, local journalists stand alone to report the story for their own community and for the world at large. About 12 years ago, when the war in Kosovo, the NATO bombing campaign started, nobody had any journalists on the ground because all the international journalists were made to leave except just one or two. And as the conflict intensified in those first two weeks, we had a daily email from a wonderful reporter and journalist named Jackie Tuhina as the first internet collected wartime blog. After a week of reporting, she was evicted from her apartment and forced to leave. There are all kinds of obstacles that governments can put in the way of journalists. And we try as hard as we can to protect our journalists to make sure that uh, we deal with that. We've had a number of journalists arrested over the years, and we've had a number of journalists expelled, and we've had a number of journalists under threat. It's a very dangerous business. In Iraq, one incredibly brave journalist named Sahar he was writing stories about the extremists in her hometown. And this was raising threat to her, and she was at risk. We were fortunately able to offer Sahar another job in another country. She had gone home for one last time to pick something up for, as she had thought, leaving the country, and she was shot dead. Her assassin picked up the phone and said into the phone, Sahar can go to hell. It's very hard for us to provide the level of security uh, that we would like to do. But we have a moral responsibility to help these people who have taken the risks to put their lives on the line for the, the purposes of information and good journalism. None of this can happen without resources, but we must find unrestricted funds so that we can move, so we can help people, and so we can work in sensitive areas. Within these areas, IWPR provides a platform for local journalists to be heard within their own communities as well as around the world producing radio and TV programming, publishing in-depth reporting, and organizing forums for public debate and dialogue. These platforms give local media a voice and help them drive change. We'll take an article by a local journalist, and ensure it's translated and produced in the languages of their local country, and we'll ensure that it's disseminated within their local newspaper. But beyond that, we syndicate the material to 500 newspapers across the United States and Canada. We have a website, we create a podcast. And it's really important that the IWPR gets access to non-restrictive funding in order to achieve that. IWPR's ultimate goal is to leave these communities with vibrant and professionalized media 
which can make a long-term contribution to local democracy and local development. IWPR trains local journalists, builds networks of local media and human rights groups, establishes or strengthens local radio stations and other media, and produces programming such as a bi-weekly TV magazine on human rights airing during prime time in Iraq. This kind of media support is a vital resource for post-conflict societies. In particular, war crimes trials often take place many thousands of miles away from the conflict zone, making it difficult for people to understand the complex and controversial proceedings. We're really proud of one of our flagship radio programs called Facing Justice, which we now produce in several languages, both for the Balkans and for Africans, so we can reach millions of listeners and give them really in-depth, first-hand reporting on the trials and the tribunal processes. Trying people for war crimes is one thing, but the role of IWPR is probably to take the event out from the courtroom and bring it to the public. We have been interested right from the start in all kinds of rights. We work with civil society organizations to strengthen human rights groups and in particular to strengthen the institutional fabric of local media organizations. And we work closely with various human rights or women's rights organizations in developing their skills in handling the media and in getting their message out there. I think the IWPR is incredibly well placed at a transitional moment for news gathering and news publishing. Our challenges are money, the highest possible integrity of what we do, and keeping the faith with the people who do it. We're looking for corporate or foundation sponsorships, and we're looking for individuals who are motivated to get involved. There are many places around the world under-attended, under-focused on, and we have a broad view about where we can make the most impact. For these reasons, your private donations can make a tremendous difference. Slowly but surely, we are creating an army of very good journalists. They are courageous, they are incredibly talented, they are brave, and they are really going to be the agents of change in their societies for the future. We are all in this together for the same purpose. Truth, integrity, fairness, and good, strong reporting. My name is Christian Amanpour, and I support IWPR. My name is Rosa Eftekari, and I support IWPR. My name is Tomas Carruthers, and I support IWPR. Giving voice, driving change. We can make a difference. Join us. Join us. Join us. Please join us. Join us.